Hello again and welcome back to another one. And today we have a couple of topics to cover as we got more that have surfaced linked to Eminem's upcoming album that shows it has been right in front of our faces at least since early 2022 as many of the merch drops also included hints and teasers and we'll get to more on this in a bit. And today we also have one linked to Busta Rhymes comments about Eminem just a few days ago that continues to trigger so-called hip-hop heads on social media platforms like X, formerly known as Twitter, and the scramble continues to come up with new theories about why Eminem is highly respected by legendary rappers. More on this in a moment. And today we have more that's come from Chris Brown vs Quavo, as according to reports, Chris Brown recently pulled a move straight from the pages of 50 Cent's playbook and 50 Cent reacted to this report. And today we also have more that's come from the Drake vs Kendrick Lamar beef in 2024, including the debates about Drake's use of AI from rappers like King Crooked and also Tupac's brother Mo Prime. And before we get to it, if you recall, Drake told Metro Boomin to shut up and make some drums a few days ago and someone actually forwarded the message to Metro Boomin in real life during a show. Check out a snippet that has since gone viral. And to be fair, this user is onto something. I bet you he played some drums after that. And speaking on Drake's use of AI on Taylor Made Freestyle that sparked conversations about AI in the industry, King Crooked recently revealed this AI agenda disguised as fun in music is so strategic from the fake voices to the songs being reimagined that I can see a reality where we artists happily march into the burning flames. And how I see it, the sad reality is that it is already too late. Things are in motion and many industries would be unrecognizable in a decade or two for better or worse. And some are even asking, you think autotune helped pave the way? And seeing as that became an industry standard, I believe some form of automation due to AI will become a standard in a few years for better or worse. And I'll be looking forward to your thoughts on this one. And speaking on AI, Tupac's brother Mo Prime was recently on the Art of Dialogue and he echoed the points he made during his interview with TMZ about this. Check out some snippets. For the record, I ain't got nothing against none of them brothers. I ain't got nothing against none of them brothers. Kendrick, Drake, J. Cole, I like all them brothers. But the question, was about AI, you know, and just because you can do something, that doesn't mean you should do something. The way we battle rap, because, you know, from what I understand, it's a battle. If it's a battle, it should be mano we mano. At, at my humble opinion, it should be mano we mano, skill against skill, flow against flow. When you put AI into the game, it makes it all balanced. Pac is perfection. AI is imperfect. So you use it an imperfect tool with a something that's perfect. Off with the culture. You know, Kendrick, you know, that's home. That's home team. He from the turf. You know, I mean, that's West Coast. You know, we fuck with that. And as you heard, the fact that Kendrick is West Coast makes matters worse, according to him. And this has sparked split reactions, as some believe West Coast bias is at play here. If Kendrick would have done it first, then I personally think his opinion would change, based off what he's saying in the clip, shrugs emoji. And some believe, well, Snoop posted it on his IG story. He is fine with it. And now that this is mentioned, I find it interesting that Snoop Dogg doesn't seem to have a problem with it, as far as we know. And I'll be looking forward to your thoughts, especially the takes that West Coast bias is at play here, and that it would have been fine if it was Kendrick using AI. And before we head to the next point about Chris Brown pulling a 50 cent on Quavo, Eminem fans have been going back to revisit some of the teasers that pointed to the new album. And from a previous merch bundle that I believe is from October 2023, another one has been spotted that points to the new album, Slim Shady, Death is Just the Beginning, and it is wild how it all tied in nicely, and how some have reacted with, M Legit has been dropping hints for months, we weren't delusional, for years actually, after music to be murdered by, dropped. 
and this is true, people look at us like we're tweakers for piecing things like this together. But like every single time this happens, we are proven right as well. And moving on, photos recently surfaced that are reportedly from Quavo's concert in Connecticut. And these photos went viral for obvious reasons, as it looks like a ghost town up in there. However, Chris Brown is getting blamed for this as this video surfaced online. Ain't nobody at my Yo, Chris Brown, are you serious, bro? I know you got something to do with this. Ain't nobody at my man Quavo's show today. Yo, Chris Brown, come on, bro. I know you called somebody and told him to shut his show down. Where are the people? This is horrible. And 50 Cent reacted to the report Chris Brown really bought all of Quavo's concert tickets so no one would turn up, loudly crying emoji, to which 50 Cent responded, flushed face emoji, oh this ish getting different, laughing emoji, I know dude is tight, lol. Now of course, this is all speculations, but this brought back memories from a few years ago, when 50 Cent reportedly did the same thing to Ja Rule when reports claimed 50 Cent performed pettiest act in history by buying out seats at Ja Rule's concert. Concert, he purchased 200 front row seats and this blew up under 50's post. Didn't you do this to Ja Rule? Laughing emojis. However, on the other end, some are wondering. So basically, Chris Brown just gave Quavo the bag. Who win, who lose? Which got responses like, most of it goes to the labels and he ain't getting no merch, which he'd get 100% of laughing emoji. And on this note, venue sales and merch sales are affected, so Chris Brown win. And although this is all allegedly, what are your thoughts on such a move from Chris Brown? And moving on, if you recall, a few days ago, we covered the story story when Busta Rhymes checked Dr. Umar and also a certain rapper for disrespecting Eminem on the All The Smoke podcast. I'ma keep it a buck. I don't think nobody could fuck with Eminem. Mm. I'm sorry, Dr. Umar. Well, some Eminem critics are still bending together and seething over the fact that all of these legends have mutual respect for Eminem. They are even coming up with think pieces and this started the conversation in response to Busta Rhymes. Nobody defends this guy more than black rappers. Shake my head. Look at little Junior. Wanna cry? And before we get to the hilarious theories, notice how the narrative is changing. Before it was only white people who defended Eminem, and since receipts keep popping up that disprove that narrative, it is now changing to claims about legends selling out. Check this out. He pays them. He put $800,000 in Rakim's pocket for one song on 8 Mile soundtrack. Did the same for Young Z and many others. So apparently Eminem's got more control in the industry than even Lucien Grange, the CEO of UMG. Because Lord knows how much it took to convince nearly every top tier lyricist. He even bought out Jay-Z, Nas, Wayne, pretty much every lyricist out there. Kept them on his payroll to keep saying positive things about him and the crazy talk continued under. He feeds them low key and more, they get paid to lie. Eminem is garbage and some users have broke it down just how pathetic and desperate this has become. So you're offended because some of your favorite rappers disagree with your opinion on Eminem? I don't even understand why you're furious with Buster for praising Eminem like he always done since day one. Some of you who aren't fans of Eminem may be too concerned with how other rappers feel about him in a positive way because it doesn't suit your narrative. But that's a personal issue. And the scramble for new narratives about Eminem continues. Share your thoughts below. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.